Hi, 안녕하세요. How are you? This is Nares Kimchi. And uh, today I'm going to show you one of my favorite Korean breakfast menu. And this is like really popular breakfast menu called silken eggs. And in Korea we call it 계란찜. 계란 means eggs and 찜 means steam. And literally it's like it steams very slowly in a, a usually rice bowl or something like this where I can actually heat, heat just uh, directly. So let's see how simple it is. And let's get to it. All right, so the ingredients for the silken eggs, the geranjim, is very simple. Just uh, I will use three eggs for one to two person serving cup of water really important use something like this or you could actually just instead of water you can use a chicken broth that, that you know comes in a container then just for side things for looks and taste I have a tiny bit of minced garlic and you can actually skip that if you, don't, if you don't want this green onion don't skip that that's very important it really adds a lot of flavor and carrot it's Perfectly just for cosmetic reasons because it looks so pretty, but that's about it. And the good bacon loves the carrots, right? All right, so let's start with eggs. So I have to beat these. Probably about two thirds of a cup. I'll add one teaspoon of this chicken chicken bouillon powder, chicken powder. So now the broth is really boiling here, and I'm going to put. Let's just put these guys first. You know, it doesn't really matter. You can actually start with eggs too. But I feel like putting these guys first. Then put the beaten eggs. Then now I'm going to lower the heat and cover. Like it has to be the lowest heat. Then after about a minute or so, I'm gonna um, shuffle these guys a little bit. Oh, good. Thank you so much. Okay, so it's been about a minute, and I'm going to shuffle these guys a little bit because after this, I'm going to actually turn off the heat completely. like this so after I just uh, shuffle this a little bit and it mixed around I'm going to turn off the heat completely and cover and forget about this for the next five minutes so this has been sitting like this for the last five minutes or so and look at this all done it's even though it kind of looked messy in the very beginning, but it, it is all done. So before serving, I like to put just a little bit of um, sesame oil. No, I think you like sesame oil. So like, you know, just two drops. That adds like really good flavor. All right, so bacon really wants to eat this so bad. So I'm just gonna get to this. So I'm just cutting through this. You can see from cut side that it's completely cooked and the rest of the liquid here that's all chicken soup you know chicken broth so I know it's it's like really 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 hot so I'm gonna wait a little bit until it cools down then taste. taste so let's do a taste test so 
so soft, very tasty. So this is actually really perfect for me today because I just got my braces tightened the other day, so my teeth really hurt. I cannot eat any meat or anything hard. So this is like just exactly what I need, maybe with a little bit of steamed rice. So that's how we usually eat in Korea with as a um, baby food for toddlers or for people with my teeth problem like this or you know for casual even dinner uh, banchan also so what do you think i hope you guys make this at home you just need some chicken broth or fish broth whatever broth uh, uh, meat or even vegetable broth you can use and just a little bit of eggs and some green onion like super simple right so i hope you guys try this making it at home and until next time, bye.